As the movie begins, a girl named Jenny appears on the scene. She was playing with puppets made by her father. Then she glimpses a small sparrow and she comes near the window to catch it. Now the scene turns to Jenny's father Jeff and her caretaker Samantha. It is revealed here that Jenny's father is actually a comic artist. Samantha is heavily inspired by his comics and drawn characters. After this, Jenny is again seen who was peeping through the window. That sparrow was not appearing before then it comes before her sight all of a sudden. Due to this, Jenny is afraid and falls down. Jenny's mother also comes there with Jeff and Samantha hearing her falling sound. They see that Jenny's forehead is bleeding. As a result, Jenny's father Jeff and mother get so worried. Then Jenny's mother says to Samantha while scolding her, "It is your fault. As being caretaker of Jenny, it is your responsibility to take care of her." Jeff tries to make his wife silent, explaining to her, but his wife says to Jeff, showing her anger, "You yourself is indulged in your job in the whole day. We have no benefits of this. You don't earn money through this." It is explored here that Jeff is still jobless. In the next scene, Jenny's mother begins to lead her to hospital. Jeff's wife forbids him to accompany when he asks to come because they had no good understanding so they are separated. So they both are so worried because of the custody of Jenny. So Jenny's grandfather suggests I don't want that my granddaughter may get wounded in such a way because of carelessness. He says to Jeff you cannot take care of yourself because of having no job. How will you take care of your daughter being grieved? Jeff ask his wife that why are you doing this with me hearing him she says i know that you have affections of your daughter jenny but you are still not in this state to take care of her you cannot care her at all after this his wife says to her giving some amount of money keep this money and restart your life with them and leave jenny in my custody but jeff rejects her offer when he returns back to his house later Then he begins to miss Jenny watching the old videos of her. Next day he begins to wait for his wife going into a restaurant with his daughter. Meanwhile he receives the call of his wife who says to him that listen Jeff you are showing foolishness you should sign the agreement through which everything will be all right and we all stay happily but Jeff makes no response to her. Jeff's college friends come to him. who has inaugurated his company regarding comics before one year hearing this jeff feels so good when he asks jeff about his life then jeff tells him everything how many issues that he is facing in his life moreover he is jobless knowing this jeff's friend is very shocked jeff had been the best artist among them then jeff receives his wife's call Jeff now through this that he has come in a wrong restaurant because it was another restaurant where his wife had called him then he also tells his wife about his that college friend that i have met him today and i am going to start a work with him now collab his friend intends to assign Jeff only for the comic painting hearing this Jeff is astonished and also grieved because he was the best comic artist Jeff's W. Jeff's wife is also able to hear all the conversation. So she says to Jeff, "I have heard the whole conversation. It is not easy task to get the job." Jeff's wife whole attention is on calling so she faces a fatal accident. She is died at the spot Jenny and Jeff become so mournful at her death. A placed candle drops there when Jeff is telling the people about his wife at her funeral. And Jeff's painting is set on fire with another candle's flame. Due to this, the drawn face of Jeff is painting is severely spoiled. Meanwhile, Samantha quenches the fire with the help of fire extinguisher. Then Jenny's grandfather meets with Jeff and tells him that The car has not been detected yet which has hit my daughter on your wife
all think this as it is not an accident but a murder which has been turned into an accident. In the next scene, Jack goes before a room and its door is opened at once. A horrible puppet appears from there. It was looking the same which had been made by Jeff. That puppet was moving differently with the horrific look. It begins to chase Jeff and proceed Jeff, so Jeff is so frightened. Jeff wake up as that puppet is going to attack him. It indicated that it was the nightmare of Jeff. Then he encounters another puppet before him. Suddenly he again wakes up and it was also his nightmare. Samantha comes to his house on the coming day where Jeff asks her to take care of his daughter. And he himself goes to the company of his friend for job. In the meantime, he also gets the ready to perform his job as an inker. This leaves Jeff's friend shocked but he raises him for job without saying a word. When Jeff tells about his job as an inker to Samantha, coming to home later, she says on this, I don't not like this job because you don't deserve of this job. You deserve better. The reason behind it is this, you are best artist. Hearing this, Jeff says I can also do the painting job at home. It will have advantage that I will also take care of my daughter with this. She will not go far from me. After this, Samantha insists Jeff too much leave Jenny at her grandfather's house but Jeff declines this suggestion. He says no, I cannot take this action because I have great affections for my daughter and she will stay with me when Jeff is working at night. Then he begins to feel awkwardly and he senses as there is something mysterious. There is something wrong. So he draws a horrific painting on his dairy of a ghost annoyingly. Jenny says, coming to him, I am feeling so frightened. It seems to me as there is someone is my room. When Jeff moves there to detect, then he glimpses no one there. Then he asks Jenny to lay down on her bed. Then Jenny asks her father that, Father, will you send me to my grandfather? Jeff says after refusing this. Not at all. Jeff was surprising hearing the words of Jenny. Because Jenny was calling herself a baby and her way of talking was also quite different. And she was behaving differently when Jeff reaches his office on the next day. He also gives that ghost painting to his colleague mistakenly which was drawn last night by him. His co-workers and his friends both are excited, glimpsing this. His friend again hires him as a comic artist while witnessing his ghost painting. The scene moves later and Jenny is seen in her room. She encounters the same puppet there, which had been encountered in Jeff's room by him. As that puppet proceeds to her, Jenny is scared and she calls her father, then Jeff reaches her and he carries her into his room. Then Jeff and Jenny talks about the night incident. Jenny tells that I had seen a ghost in my room last night which was so horrific. Then Jeff says to her while explaining your puppet friends also look horrible. But you don't feel fear from them because they are your friends. Hearing this, Jenny thinks that she can also befriend the ghost appeared in her room. Then Jeff notices that Jenny has also drawn the same ghost painting which is seen by them. Seeing this, he is also shocked and scared. Meanwhile, Jenny again calls herself baby. So Jeff is researching for it. Reaching the office in the meantime, his colleague comes there and he tells him the whole story and asks him, Do you believe in ghost? His colleague replies on this, Yes, I believe that ghosts really exist. At the same time, their girl worker of office tells Jeff appearing there. A wealthy old man had come to ask about you. Hearing about him, Jeff immediately comprehends. He is not anyone else but Jenny's grandfather, so he instantly goes to him to meet him. It is revealed that Jenny's grandfather has suspicious that the killer of his daughter is not anyone else but Jeff. It means he himself killed his wife after it when it is seen when Jeff returns back to his home.
Samantha offers him alcoholic drink and tries to develop a bond with him. Jeff is so shocked on this and he forbids her of doing so. Samantha feels ill on this. She also feels embarrassment there. Due to this, she leaves away. It is seen when Jeff is working at night that he had adjusted a camera in Jenny's room in which he witnesses that there is the same horrific puppet which was being called ghost by her. It means that was only being seen by both of them. Jeff is so frightened seeing it and he quickly moves to Jenny's room but he finds no one there. Meanwhile, it is noticed behind Jeff that small puppets are moving there when he is looking out of the window. Then someone is witnessed in the room who had covered himself with a shawl. When he checks after uncovering the shawl, then he comes to know that she is Jenny, not anyone else. Then Jenny asks Jeff, tell me father, where is mother? Jeff says on this, she is here and she is always with us. When Jeff is leaving to office, then he glimpses the same puppet in the bus which also tries to attack him. He is so scared, then Samantha is seen who reaches near room while searching for Jenny, where she hears the voice of Jenny, so she tries to enter. But the door is automatically closed and she is worried on this. But the door is opened again and Jenny comes out of the room. At the same time, Samantha also sees the same puppet due to this. She is also became afraid. She reveals everything to Jeff when he returns back and also says it may be my hallucination. She ignores this but Jeff becomes upset on this so he locks that room firmly. So his daughter Jenny may not unlock this when Jeff reaches Jenny. She asks him where are you going to give me to my mother and where you going to take money is written from her. Jeff is confused hearing this because no one knew this secret except he and his wife. Next day, Samantha presents the breakfast to Jenny as she arrives. Jenny begins to feel bad taking this and her breath begins to beg and she begins to agonize witnessing this. Jeff is filled with fear and he injects her. She is recovered with this at the exact time the candlier's screw is loosened. So it is hit with Samantha's head after losing its grip and she loses her senses falling down. It is seen here that puppet does it is not anyone else. Now Samantha had already called the police so police approach there. Then police feel seeing Jenny as she is being victimized and tortured. So they attempt to talk with Jenny through which they are confirmed. There is no reality which they are assuming. It is noticed later the puppet which was being seen by Jenny and Jeff. It was not anyone else but Jenny's mother. Then that Jenny's mother goes into Samantha's room and it tries to kill her. As a result, Samantha wake up and she becomes so afraid. She reaches Jeff as being frightened and says to him, there is something as such in this house which is horrific and threatening with this and I think it is not any other person but your wife, Jenny's mother who is trying to kill after teasing us. Hearing this, Jeff instructs her, you are not well now so return back to your home. So you may have a rest after this, Jeff also sends his daughter Jenny with her grandfather. Then Jeff tries to communicate with his wife through a ritual at night, then his wife shows him. How did she face an accident on the day, then his wife appears in form of puppet before him. Jeff explained to her, look, don't do as such, Jenny is our daughter, next day Jeff is seen. Who has gone to his daughter, he says to Jenny's grandfather while talking. I know you had a great love for your daughter. Please don't make my daughter far from me for this because she has already lost her mother and I don't want this now that she may lose her father now. Then Jenny's grandfather tells Jeff after meeting that car has been discovered by the police with which my daughter had struck so the driver will also be found out soon now. Jeff feels satisfaction on this. He also says to Jeff with this, I will also reach your house within one hour taking Jenny. It is revealed here that Jeff's word have affected him and he is agreed with Jeff. He has given the custody of Jenny to Jeff afterwards when Jeff reaches office. 
then it is known that he is going to shift in another state and he is very excited with this. It means that he will do a job in another branch of his friend's company. Then his drawn ghost character made for comic book is brought there. Seeing this, Jeff's friend tells him that I have changed the ending of comic to an extent, in which ghost will return back after being more powerful and threatening instead of dying. Due to this, Jeff is afraid and he leaves the house to rescue his daughter Jenny. Then he calls Jenny's grandfather and says to him, move out Jenny from the house quickly. Because that house is not secure for her, then Jenny's grandfather is trying to tell Jeff about any mail. But someone falls him down while pushing when Jeff reaches home later. Then he witnesses that Jenny's grandfather is so wounded. So he begins to call Samantha. Meanwhile, Jenny's grandfather who was in semi-consciousness, he forbids Jeff of doing so. And he shows him received mail in mobile phone and it was actually that killer's photo. Seeing this, Jeff is left shocked, seeing photo and Samantha also reaches there at the same time. And he shows her that killer photo, it is exposed here that killer is not another person. But she is Samantha who had killed Jeff's wife, but she is has no any regret of this crime. She says while shouting, I was just helping you Jeff. Because your wife was going to snatch everything from you, it is known here that Samantha had also served Jenny's the poisoned food when her condition was turned worst but her mother secured her. After this, Samantha moves to Jeff to attack him while lifting a piece of glass. Meanwhile, that puppet approaches deer which stabs that piece of glass into Samantha's neck. Due to this, Samantha is died painfully. That puppet also tries to attack Jeff later. But Jenny forbids that puppet of doing so, then Jenny becomes so frightened. And she sits going near the window and she is also crying a lot. She says, I don't like the quarrel of both of you. She was saying this here to her parents. Jeff explains to Jenny here and he tries to descend her. Then they both father and daughter fall from window. Jeff begins to recall all moment spent with Jenny. But Jeff notices that they both are safe and sound when he wakes up. Because Jeff's wife had saved them after it, she also leaves away. Because she had taken her revenge after killing Samantha. It is known here, why did Samantha kill Jeff's wife? In fact, she used to like Jeff. And she wanted to spend her life with him, but her intentions were negative. Consequently, she got what she deserved. It means dire consequence in the form of her death. With good moral dead do good have good. And this is where the movie separation end. I hope you enjoyed this movie explanation. If you enjoyed, please like, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching.